it could be like an explosion. It's just boom, all of a sudden. What we're doing today is having a live burn demonstration for uh, National Burn Awareness Week. And as you've seen, we've had some big fires that were created by smoking cigarettes around oxygen tanks. For our first demonstration, we uh, took an O2 uh, tubing and placed it into some clothing and simulating where somebody would either drop a cigarette or they would have a match and they were lighting a cigarette around this oxygen soaked clothing. And of course, as you saw in the video, it, uh, it went up very rapidly. If you have somebody coming in smoking, they light up a cigarette, kaboom! I mean, you could start a fire in a heartbeat. The second scenario was somebody that had a cigarette in their mouth and they were going to light that cigarette while they were using uh, O2 on a nasal device. Three, two, one. Oh, Normal oxygen which supports combustion is 21% in the air that we breathe. What's coming out of these tanks and these HOMO2 units is 100% pure oxygen. So it really supports combustion readily. Last year we had 135 people die in house fires, but a significant number of people have died either smoking in bed or smoking while using oxygen tanks. The third scenario was somebody who was in the bed. They had the HOMO2 tubing that ran up to the bed and they had smoking materials in the bed with them, so the fire was set from that. Once you have a fire, the O2 is supporting it that much more because it's 100% pure oxygen. Think fire safety. You know, have a fire exit plan for your house. Teach your children about fire safety. Go to our website, ncdoi.com, and you'll see a whole list of safety features and what to do to prevent home fires.